welcome to Scott's Inverts. Oh, I'm Scott. These are the inverts, and today we are looking at the Acanthus scoria geniculata, um, the white stripe birdie eating spider, all the way from Brazil, also known as the Agen. An absolute stunning, stunning spider. Fairly cheap in the hobby. This is probably down to the amount of babies that the females can actually have. They can have between 500 to 1,000 in one egg sac. So let's get on with today's video. So our giant white knee tarantula is found all the way across Brazil, into Peru and Bolivia. The major populations are actually found in northern Brazil. Now northern Brazil has climate characteristics of a tropical wet climate with abundant rainfall and little or actually no dry season at all. With the average temperature being 25 to 26 degrees Celsius, which is around 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Now going back to that rainfall, the average rainfall around northern Brazil is actually 2,200 millilitres, which is 90 inches a year. That is absolutely huge. So these guys, we want to be creating an enclosure to replicate exactly what's going on in their wild habitat. So we need that humidity levels up. We need a mossy forest type floor. And let me just show you my small juvenile taking down a red runner there and continuing to do a happy dance. These guys are absolute ferocious eaters and literally will take food every single time it's offered. And now you're looking at my large juvenile female and she's absolutely stunning. Certainly see why they're called the giant white knee or the white striped tarantula. Absolutely gorgeous. The growth rate for this species is quite fast. With the correct heating and feeding, you can obtain a leg length, leg length of four inches within a year to 18 months. The adult size for a female can get up to a whopping eight inches across, with males reaching five to 5.5 inches. The females mature around three to five years, and the males three years. Now these girls can live up to 15 to 20 years, the males tend to live up to 5 years. And these guys are an opportunistic burrower um, and a terrestrial spider, so they will require a burrow, a starter burrow or a hide as we've seen in the enclosure there. Plenty of moss to keep that humidity up, water dish and at least 4 to 5 inches of substrate. Absolutely crucial because if this girl wants to burrow, she needs that room to. So my girl is kept at around 79 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 26 degrees Celsius, at a humidity of 60 to 80%. The way I achieve that is I overfill that water dish and spray down the whole enclosure twice a week, keeping everywhere nice and damp, just how she would experience things in the wild. Now the main line of defence is urticating hairs um, I tried to capture that in an earlier clip, so hopefully you guys seen that and seen the hairs coming up into the air. These will flick all around that burrow, all in the moss, up into the air, and when she feels threatened, she will release thousands of tiny little hairs, which can really irritate your skin, nose, and eyes. They will also, although containing very, very, very literally potent venom, they will actually display a threat pose as well so being a noodle oil tarantula it's quite unusual to see that but they do actually will give a threat pose so going back to the enclosure plenty of moss a few twigs and sticks in the background i put that cart bark down that left hand side just to try and restrict the light a little bit because these guys will be on the bottom of the forest floor so they're not going to be in full sunlight so i want to kind of restrict some of the light that's going to get down to her so hopefully she'll feel a bit safer to come out and have a stroll. I did say they were stunning and my god are they a beautiful beautiful spider. I'm lucky enough to actually have three in the collection, two females and a male so expect a breeding video sort of probably towards the end of next year when the males and the female are actually mature but I absolutely love them. I know I say that about the majority of the tarantulas that I own but I do, <laughs> I genuinely do. Um, if, you, if you're around this Tuesday between 8 and 10 
We are having Dave's Little Beasties on the live yet again. Um, we're going to be talking about humidity and other tarantula questions that you guys have got. So if, if you come along, stick your questions in the comments and we'll try and answer as many as we possibly can. When we've got Dave on, it's always an absolute awesome, awesome live. It's such a pleasure to have that guy on. Hopefully most of you will be going to the South East Arachnid Show down in Ashford this weekend on Sunday. If you are all being well, I'm going to be down there myself. Um, I know Robbie's Talking Tees is also going to be down there. So um, if you see us, come and say hello and come and have a little chat. Andrew Smith's going to be there as well. He's got the stand with Guy Tinsley. So go over, say hello to those guys. They, they, go, they actually go out in the field and study these spiders and bring back crucial information for the hobby. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscription and bell and, and hit the notification bell for me as well, if I can get my words out today. Thank you so, so much for watching. And we shall see you again on the next one.